day 36, I'm in, whoa, I'm in, <laughs> I'm in Pattaya in, ba uh, not in Bangkok, in Thailand, and I got food poisoning last night, and I spent the entire night crying and falling apart, some out of my mouth and some out of me. Uh, Reggie managed to go out, he was gone, whoa, he went down to a place called Su Six, which was apparently a very special place, was it Reggie? Uh, and he was playing, um, snooker with a, a lady boy at one point <laughs> that's what he's called code for he's playing snooker <laughs> anyway um what we're we doing today i feel like absolute dog turd i have gone and had a nice breakfast nice healthy breakfast some fruit some smoothies and all that good stuff so hopefully that's going to regenerate and fill my gut back up but seriously i was absolutely dying last night i was considering calling the doctor i do now have holiday insurance so i am covered also if you're going to get holiday insurance buy it before you leave because once you've left it costs bare more money like 10 times the price if you actually want to get holiday insurance and obviously me being an idiot i didn't do that and i only bought it when i'm gone anyway we're going to go and have a day of adventure and fun. I'm going to stop being miserable. So all I can say is let's get straight. <laughs> so many people around. Into this bitch. What's up, brother? What are you selling? Yeah. What do you sell? Sleeping pills. Okay. Yes, yeah, brother, what are you saying? <laughs> oh, don't scrub me then. What is it? Oh, it's a blue east. Viagra, I think. Yeah, I'm no. all right. Don't you want the gel? <laughs> No, I just need a ladyboy and then I'm like, rock! <laughs> yes, brother, what he's saying. I'm known by everybody in this bloody town. <laughs> I've come to the conclusion that Patea is the Benidorm of Thailand. Because what time is it? Like one o'clock? Twelve o'clock? Half, half, half one? All the bars are full. All the bars are full of English blokes with bulldogs tattooed on their head. That's the sort of fella that's here, mate. Like, seriously, have a look. It's the Benidorm crowd, mate. They've just maybe got a little bit more money than the people that go to Benidorm because they've managed to get all the way over to Asia. <laughs> um, where are we actually going? Oh yeah, we're going to go dip in the pool for half an hour because it's stupid hot and it smells like poo. <laughs> we're trying really hard not to flipping swear in these vlogs, so I'm sorry. I know sometimes there might be a lot of beeping, but it is what it is, Dan. But I need to make sure I stay hydrated today, so do you know what I mean? I reckon at least a four pack. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm not going to booze. I mean, I probably will booze, but not now. Also, here's a weird rule about Thailand, right? So you can buy booze from like 6 a.m. until 2 p.m. And then from 2 p.m. until 5 p.m., you can't buy it anywhere. I'm pretty sure some boozers will probably sell it to you, to be honest with you. But in a 7 Eleven, they, they put these down up, and you're not allowed to buy it for three hours in the middle of the day. I'm not quite sure, you'd think, they'd, you'd think they'd just ban it until 3 p.m. or something. So you can booze in the morning, but then they make sure that you have a bit of a rest so that you don't get too fucked up. <laughs> but you can buy as much as you want in the morning, so you can just stock up and make sure you've got enough for the day. But like I say, we're not doing that today. I'm getting on the old C-Vit. I don't know if this does have vitamins in, but it says C-Vit, which I can only assume means it's got vitamins and vitamin C. Also, everyone that comes to Thailand will tell you these C-Vit drinks are the perfect hangover cure. Listen to me. They're lying. They're either lying or they had two beers the night before, mate. I'm telling you now, if you get on the sesh, these do nothing to help you. I'm just hoping now it'll revise my gut from all of the falling out that it did yesterday. Ah. And also now I refuse to eat anywhere that isn't a proper restaurant because I'm telling you I was dying last night. If you go over to my Instagram, I'm sure most of you had seen it. I was a sweaty, horrible mess. I was seriously, seriously dying. So but yeah, any street food now is off limits for me, mate. I just can't. And I'm not just street foods. I mean street on the food. So food on the street. If you want me to eat outside, I don't want it. Unless you're a proper establishment, okay? I'm sorry, I know this part of the Thai culture and experience to be here and have all the street foods and stuff. But honestly, after last night, this wasn't worth it for me, Dan. Look, here's one of the shrines that I was talking about. Reggie's actually just given them some Fanta. Look, one of the shrines, and then as long as you give them a, a red drink, it's like an offering to the gods, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that. That's what somebody told me, but I was drunk. Mate, have a look at this for a pool, Dan. This place is fire. Let me show you. Nice little bed. Infinity pool at the end, I'll show you that in a sec. Oh. Tell you what, though, there's nothing worse with an infinity pool than having a piece of plastic at the end of it. That defeats the whole point of an infinity pool, to be honest, for me. Well, I'll show you the view. Oh, look at this for a gaff, Dan. 
not a bad hotel if I don't say so myself. Right, I've stopped feeling sorry for myself. I'm feeling all refreshed now from the pool and I've ordered myself a taxi and we're gonna go and do some go-karting because obviously I'm such a good driver. I need to prove myself and be able to beat Reg because Reg doesn't even have a license, I don't think. Do you have a driving license? Do you have a driving license? No, yeah, so if I can't beat him, then I'm certified crap driver. You're now. not going to be. I am. Well, I can bet. What do you want to bet? Tuggies? Well, no, not tuggies. No, not whatever I want, then. <laughs> foot massage. Yeah, the loser pays for the foot massages. There we go. Oh, there's just no escape. When you finally get a little bit of an escape in an AC, whether it's a taxi or a 7-Eleven, oh my God, you don't half appreciate it. <laughs> Oh God. Honestly, I'm gonna smash into the side of him so hard I'm gonna break his ribs. There's no way I'm letting this kid beat me. <laughs> right, we're just getting it. And Reg, he, wearing look shoes. how upset he is. He has to wrench, he has to wrench shoes because he's wearing these stupid Crocs. Look, I've got proper Crocs. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Have you got socks then? Have you got socks? Name socks. Have you got socks as well? Yes. Yes, there you go. Let's, can we have a look at the shoes? <laughs> they, look, they look so sh very snazzy. Oh, very, what, what is wrong with his Crocs? Why can't he wear the same same? We're not allowed. Not allowed, mate. Not allowed, mate. Not allowed, mate. Like, we're in Thailand. It's unsafe. It's unsafe, mate. Right, right. No safety. No safety. <laughs> oh look, slippers not allowed. You're not slippers, are they? You're so sour. They're four by four Crocs. <laughs> Bless it. When well, this kid is so cocky, yeah, he's like. I'm gonna do 19 laps when you do 12. I don't know who he thinks he is. He doesn't even have a driving license, mate. I can guarantee I put anything on this that I will beat him. I just but we're not, we've got two races. I think we just bet on the first race. No, bet on the second race. Right. Let's say bet on the second race. So the first race is warm up. Foot massage, foot job. Right. Foot job. <laughs> yeah, so loser has to buy the other person a foot massage. Um, because I really want a foot massage, I don't know why, I've never had one. I don't really fancy a full body massage, but I let them tickle my feet for a bit because I won't be able to stop laughing. <laughs> Luckily, they said, do you want to go on the fast ones or the slow ones? So the one that I just showed you is the slow one for kids. And the fast one actually looks pretty half decent, to be honest with you, let me show you. Oh, they are pretty quick. Mate, there's not a chance this kid's beating me now. Not a chance in hell. <laughs> Well, he's not got his shoes. Excuse me, he's not got his shoes on. <laughs> he's like, I don't say anything. <laughs> oh, that's jokes. Wait, look at him. He's trying to study the track. <laughs> you think he's trying to get an advantage, yeah? If I was stood there like this, like, like, like he's planning it out in his head, mate. Mine's just going to be pure reaction, mate. Plus, to be honest, I'll be surprised if you make it around the first lap, mate. The way that I'm going to smash into you. Yeah. <laughs> Racing lines, mate. I think you had another lines last night, mate. So the first race is only a test, okay? We're not actually betting on the first race. Obviously, I'm still gonna try my absolute best to win. Not even try, I don't even need to try. It's just pure skill, driving knowledge, do you know what I mean? And pure sheer power. And if I have an opportunity to smash Reg into the side of the counter, side of the whatever this is called, and that's my only idea. Look at that, here's the boys. Hashtag risky Reg. Woo! One on one, mate. <laughs> Oi, Reg, we've got a problem though. I don't think you're allowed to race. I don't think you're allowed to race. It says any offender can be excluded. And obviously, you're a sex offender. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, let's get straight into this bitch. If I lose to you, I'll oh, personally God. give you a foot massage. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this is it, baby! Oh, yeah? listen, yeah? What's that part after? Yes, what part? Bro, not, uh, every single straight, I got taken over by everybody. On the yeah, corners, I'm all right. Part. Yeah, I will, I will. Oh, no, well done, well done. I spun out like four times, though, so. <laughs> right, luckily, that one didn't count for anything, apart from my ego hurting, but uh, let's on, on to the next. Oh, <laughs> Risky Reds came first, you know. Top score. Sixth fastest lap today as well. 
Jeez. Wait, where, where am I on this race? Okay, number I six. I was confident I was Listen, yeah, is it any surprise that I'm not very good at driving? No, so <laughs> the fact I didn't come last, I'm very happy about. 49 seconds lap, he beat me by two and a half seconds on a lap. I mean, in F1 that might be quite a lot, but it's, I don't think it's that much on here. Yeah, I got, I got severely smoked. And do you know what I learned from that on the race as well? Nothing. Okay, race two, this is the real one. We can't, we're not allowed to cry about the speed of our cars. I know I was crying, but this is a serious race now, so. So get out of my freaking face, <laughs> mate. Get away from me. Let me get in the zone. <laughs> right. Cut to me on the smoke, Dan. Whoa, my joy! <laughs> I'm trying to kill me! This is it, this is my lap. This lap is on fire. Reg the whole race. Oh, look how sweaty he is. My name is Diesel was proper racing. I didn't see it, bro. I'm pretty sure you hit a 46 second lap, and I think my fastest was 47. Somebody got 45 though. Uh, right, mate. mate, good racer. Good race that was. I like that. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely paying for the foot massage. Peak. Oh, well, I really enjoyed that. That was good fun. It's hot though. It's hot out there, V. Thank you. Let's have a look. Oh! Reg came second. I came third. By one second. Damn it! Do you know what? What I actually think it might as well a little bit be. He weighs 20 kilos weight. less than me. He what they all say, all of them say. Yes, this. because I'm heavier. My it's car not. is heavier. Do you think F1 cars try and put extra weights in it? No, they try and make it as light as possible. So the fact that I only lost my one second, if you if you add in the weight ratio wise, I probably won. So I'm taking that as a dub. I mean a dub. <laughs> Look how much of a mess Reggie is. <laughs> right, we're off to go get these foot massages. Disclaimer, I'm really, really, really ticklish so on my nice. feet. And so is he apparently, so this will be funny because <laughs> I don't think they're even going to get near my feet. I'll, like, as soon as I know they're going to touch it, like just when it's close, I'll start laughing. <laughs> so it'll be good fun. Obviously, we're doing the Watergun Festival and we found one of the electric Waterguns here, look. So we're just pricing it up and we're just getting them to test it out before we obviously buy it. I want to see it in action because it's 20 quid, okay? I actually own the world's most powerful water gun. It cost me 200 quid. I never get to use it. So. Okay. <laughs> oh, God, such a... Okay, no, this is sick, look. <laughs> this is the one we want. Yeah, we need to buy these. Two of these, please. I think that's way better than shooting this. I've seen my, it was not last night though. I've just seen some serious ones. Really? That's like, it doesn't shoot very um, far. I want like loads of water to come out at once. I was just like little bits. Yeah, but we're, mate, we're buying toy guns off the side of the street. What are you expecting to happen? Let's think about it. Okay, we're gonna, we'll be back. I need to go get some money out anyway, because oh, yeah. I've got no money on me. Okay, cheers brother. Here we go. Ladyboy, right? It's a ladyboy. That's a bit of you. That's you, mate. That's your time. <laughs> Don't gas it because the camera's on. It's... <laughs> Hello, yes. Hello, I want a foot massage. Yeah. Two foot massages. This is my first ever massage of any type. Oh, it smells weird in here. Right, I'm actually quite nervous for this. There they are. Everyone's having a nice, quiet, relax. Oh, everyone's having a. Nice, quite relaxed, and I'm about to start laughing my head off. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a brass ass. <laughs> it's only because Reggie's here and he's so used to being in them. <laughs> right, so this costs 200 baht, which is about £2.50, I think. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is that how much it costs? 2 50 Oh, God. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm very ticklish. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm not joking. Oh, she's telling me off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very ticklish. Yeah? I'm very ticklish. How are you doing massage for you? you massage, ticklish? yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, just foot, just foot massage. But you're ticklish. <laughs> no, but I, it'll be okay. Well, I'll relax. I'll relax. Yeah, I think you just need to ease me in it. Ease me into it. Ease me into it, yeah. 
There we go. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'm enjoying this hat all. I've got a little bit used to it. Uh, I've, had a, I've had a few too many. <laughs> too many hours, mate. <laughs> Reg's got a loyalty card. <laughs> Brass. <laughs> One more and he gets it for free. Sorry. Yeah, Been too loud. Yeah. It's supposed to be relaxing. It's freaking me out. I can't lie. It's freaking me out. I don't like it. Oh, that. Oh, don't worry about that. Just herpes. Ooh, you stay below the knee, you. <laughs> You're only getting 200 off me. <laughs> he might go for the extra. I don't know about me, Dad. The old foot shake. <laughs> have you got a degree or are you just winging it? <laughs> How long have you been a massage for? Masseuse. How long have you been a masseuse for? One year. Yeah, how, how long have you done it? Long time. Long time? Okay. Very long time. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> oh, it feels brand new. Brand new foot I've got. <laughs> Worth the money. <laughs> It seems legit. <laughs> Finish. Very good. I feel feel brand new already. I feel like a new man. One million, eh? One million? One million for you? Oh my god. I tell you what, that was the best massage I've ever had. Best massage. <laughs> Only massage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do you, mate. You do you, do you Reggie Row, mate. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a massage or if she's just rubbing me. Very good. Wow. You're a professional, yes? Professional. I don't know. I don't I know. The answer is no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm very you're good. I'll give you a tip, because I've been very loud. She's gonna put my socks on. Look how dirty and crusty they are. Oh god. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Don't kick me, nah. Don't kick me. Thank you so much. It's okay. I promise I'll do it. It's okay. You can have the camera if you like. There you go. Get yourself a job. <laughs> Replacing Risky Reg. What's your name, sorry? Candy. Candy. Okay, Candy. Thank you so much. Welcome. I'll pay for both of us. What's the There we go. That's for both, yeah? We get that? Together. Well, you can keep the change for you. Well, also... Oh, well, split it. There you go. <laughs> no, not a thousand. There you go. 100 each. <laughs> Crab. Crab. Right, I'll be in whatever the nearest bar is that way. Oh, my shoes? Yes, if you want, yeah. very nice shoes. Very nice shoes, yeah? <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Oh, that was the worst experience ever. They weren't even massaging. They weren't like getting any knots out of my feet. I don't know if you have knots in your feet. Um, but she was just rubbing my feet with some oil on. And if that's a massage, I don't want one again. <laughs> Right, I'm at the boozer now, my favourite place. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever get a massage again. If they were doing that on my whole body, I promise it would freak me out, mate. You know what I mean? If I'm getting intimate, yeah, we're about to sh I'm all over it, mate. But if you're just rubbing my legs with oil, ugh. And it, honestly, and I've got like scabs on my legs. I didn't want her to touch my legs. I just wanted her to do my feet. But obviously, because I was laughing so much, she wouldn't do it. Anyway, that's the end of today's vlog. I appreciate you sticking with me because today's been a tough one, man. It's been hard for me to push through, but I feel a lot better now. So tomorrow, I, I'm trying to get Reg to do this bungee jump with me, but if he doesn't do it, I'm gonna do it myself anyway, and then I'm gonna have to go back to Bangkok. I might, I don't know, I might stay another night here. I'm not sure. We're gonna figure it out. We'll figure it out along the way. Today's a new day. Tomorrow's a new day. So yeah, shout out to your mum, shout out to your dad. Oh wait, I've got one more really important thing to tell you. 